Hey guys, my name's Jared, and welcome to The Only Vans Show. The van market is more competitive than ever, with each company offering their version of what they think the best features are. It can get difficult to weed through all the information and make the right choice when it comes to making a purchase. I created this video series as a quick way to get up to speed on the different features and specs that each van company offers. In this video, we're going to talk about the Ram ProMaster. ProMaster was already a strong value, and it becomes more appealing for 2021 with its updated technology and driver assist offerings. For drivers focused on maximum utility, the ProMaster is a top choice. Inside, the ProMaster benefits from a significant makeover, including an updated instrument panel and center stack with new AC controls, more charging ports, which includes several USB and lightning connections, and a modern infotainment system. Gone is the outdated 5-inch display, which is replaced by a standard 7 or optional 10-inch touchscreen. Both come standard with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Amazon Alexa voice assistant, and a Wi-Fi hotspot. It has push-button start, push-button parking brake, in a nice spot to keep your phone. Infotainment is just the tip of the iceberg on the ProMaster. The real magic is in the roster of driver assistance technology, boasting a 360 degree camera system, automatic high beams, adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist, and front parking sensors. The ProMaster was designed with the driver in mind. I think a lot of people overlook the drivability of some of these vans. It's not just about having a comfortable living space, but also being comfortable behind the wheel. All ProMaster vans are powered by a 3.6 liter V6 engine that provides 280 horsepower and 260 pound feet of torque. While those characteristics aren't that impressive compared to competitors, the ProMaster does offer a higher payload capacity, which means the extra weight added from your build-out will not affect the handling of your van quite as much. The ProMaster can tow up to 6,900 pounds, but that's still less towing power than its rivals such as the Transit, which comes in at about 7,500 pounds. Heavy-duty vans are almost always rear-wheel or four-wheel drive, but Ram, however, decided to offer only front-wheel drive. I'm not super stoked on it, especially being that I like to camp in the winter, which means having four-wheel drive is essential. But I think for most van owners, you'd be fine with two-wheel drive. I mean, look, if you get caught in snow, you can always chain up. ProMaster comes in three sizes, a 1500, 2500, and 3500. The standard short wheelbase measures 118 inches. The medium wheelbase is 136 inches. And the long wheelbase is 159 inches. There's also an extended body option for long wheelbase models. Roof height is another choice. The low roof model has a 66 inch cargo height, while high roof models offer 77 inches of height from floor to ceiling. All models have a standard 75 inches of width on the cargo floor. Another thing to note is how many Dodge locations there are in the United States. They have just over 2,400 locations, which means no matter where you may end up in your travels, you're never too far away from essential servicing or parts. That is a huge benefit because you never know when something could go wrong. 
There's nothing like being stranded or wanting to go on your trip and getting stuck not having the right part. When it comes to overall handling, the Ram Promaster is notably less refined than many of its rivals. The cabin is not quite as quiet, the ride quality not quite as smooth. But through its impressive driver assistance technology and vast network of Dodge service centers, the Promaster is still a popular choice among the highly competitive van market. I would recommend it to most people interested in buying a van as long as you aren't expecting to tear it up off-roading or drive through deep snow. Thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of The Only Fans Show. I had a blast making this video for you guys, and if you enjoyed it, please smash that like button or leave a comment below. 